after the events of season one where Omni Man left his son in the bloody pulp, this man has just been going through it ever since. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me do that fight. I'm talking about my guy can't take a break. So Mark gets sent on this mission. He pulls up in front of the base and the Maulers and a bunch of Angstrom Levies are just hooked up to this big ass metal Christmas tree doing something. And Mark's like, well, I don't know what the hell y'all doing, but y'all need to stop. So he starts beating up the Mauler twins and then Angstrom's like, bro, you don't understand. This is for the greater good. I need you to listen to me. And Mark's like, why would I believe any word you're saying? So Angstrom just opens up a bunch of portals and a bunch of other Maulers start coming out and they are jumping the mess out of Mark right now. It's insane. Mark was holding his own at first. He was beating the mess out of the Maulers until they just got too much and then they just started stomping his ass out. Until Angstrom's like, hey, yo, y'all, chill. I don't want y'all to kill Invincible. This seems to be the only good Invincible out in the multiverse. I need y'all to chillax. But they're like, but anywho, and keep on putting the pots and pans to Invincible. So Angstrom prematurely takes off his helmet, and then now there is a big ass explosion, killing and merging all the Angstroms into one, killing most of the Maulers in the process, and Mark being the only nigga that survived. Like, damn, this is uh, uh, this. It's crazy actually, but the Angstrom that got fused all in the one, he vows to have his revenge on Invincible. But we gonna get there when we get there. So we fast forward a bit and Mark is settled into college. Him and Amber are steadying their relationship. Things are going good. But if I know one thing, if something goes good in Mark Grayson's life, that means that there's gonna be the proverbial wrench getting thrown into his life, messing everything up. So while bro was chilling in his dorm room, he gets a knock at the door and it's this goddamn comic book dog that he's been reading for years. And obviously with everything he's been through, he don't trust Fido at all. So he tosses his ass out the window and starts asking him questions. He's like, bro, it's me. I'm Seance Dog. Don't you know? I'm on your posters and everything. But Mark ain't buying it at all. He grips up bro by his cape, starts spinning his ass around and throws him into this forest. So the Seance Dog imposter turns out to be just some big ass cricket. He's like, Mark, actually, I just got sent here, bro, because I need your help. There's been meteors and they, they finna crash down on our planet. We just don't want to die. You're the only one that can help us, big bro. So Mark pulls up on the Thraxon's planet and he's like, uh, so, uh, where are the meteors? And then he also was like, oh yeah, dog, there were never no meteors. Uh, I, I lied to you like crazy, but I wanted to show you to our ruler. So they bring Mark to their ruler and it's Omni-Man. And I'm not gonna lie, man, it's like me would have gripped up New Orleans out and punched oh his head God. off. Cause why'd you lie to me like this? But Omni Man's like, yo, uh, I know what I did back there on Earth was crazy. I apologize. That's nuts. But look, you got a brother now. So help me protect these Thraxons because the Viltrumites finna pull up and boom, everybody here. And I don't know how any feasible human will process this much information getting laid upon them in such a short amount of time. But albeit it being a very hard decision, he still decides to help out. And Mark's like, okay, how am I gonna fight other Viltrumites if I couldn't even beat you? And Omni Man's like, hey. We're gonna have to train for real for real. But before they can even finish their sentence, three Viltrumites pull up on the Thraxon's planet, frame one, getting ready to destroy everything. So Mark goes and takes his brother and his brother's mom into this cave. But lo and behold, here comes Steve Harvey's big ass trying to start a fight with Mark. Mark starts telling Steve Harvey to back his black ass up. But Steve Harvey is not listening to a word Mark is saying. And then Mark's little brother starts crying. He starts focusing on little bro like crazy. And Mark's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't I say to back the- Die. I'm talking about he smacked the taste out of his mouth. Oh, nah. And then Steve Harvey starts being racist as hell. He's like, ain't no way Nolan ate a child with this bug. So Mark draws Steve Harvey right in the face. He's like, hey, we don't do that racism mess over here, bucko. Mark starts trying to mix Steve Harvey while he tells Andressa and his younger brother to leave. But Steve Harvey binked the mess out of Mark. I'm talking about he hit him one time, had his whole entire body bounce off some rocks. And then the worst part about all this is after Mark got dribbled like a basketball, Steve Harvey crouched down, put his hand on Mark's head, and started pushing his entire body into the ground. I just simply refuse to believe that your big ass is that strong that you're able to do this to me, but I digress. But while Steve Harvey was pushing Mark's face into the dirt, Omni-Man pulled up and swatted him away, getting him off his son. 
but Steve Harvey's ass got up and him and Nolan started boxing while Mark took off with Andressa and his brother. But we pan back to Nolan and Steve Harvey and these two is maxing. Steve Harvey got the better of Nolan. He starts choking Big Bro out, but Nolan cut open Steve Harvey's guts with his hand? Oh nah, bro think he Goku Black. Talking about had that man's gut spilling oh. out his stomach. But then Nolan grabbed this pointy ass spike and shish kebab his ass onto the wall. So Nolan and Mark get out the cave and then the other two Viltramites there pull up on them. Nolan takes the dude Viltramite while the older lady with the ponytail knife starts beefing with Mark. And shorty over here talking about, hey, since you're Nolan's son, I'll make this quick. But Mark's like, bro, bro, please, like we don't even gotta fight for real. Just chill. Man, if you don't lock your lame ass in and get to scrapping, Nolan and the male Viltramite are fighting like goddamn Dragon Ball characters and we pan down and Mark is just over there getting his bussy taken forcefully I might add. Talking about her ass doing tricks on it. How does she know she can wrap her braid knife around someone's neck mid fight? What was the tech? When did you learn this? But she starts choking the mess out of Mark with her braid but Omni Man pulls in for the save once again. Nolan was finna finish her ass off, but the Viltramite he was boxing before said, nah uh, we ain't finished and scooped his ass up out the air. While Knife Hair Shorty is over here just kicking the mess out of Mark while he's on the ground. But Nolan figures out how to kill two birds with one stone. So he knocks old boy into Knife Hair Girl and they're out of commission for a little bit while Nolan's talking to Mark like, yo, nigga, what is you doing? You might not be as strong, but you're putting up absolutely no numbers right now. Yo ass need to stop holding back. You're not on Earth. These aren't human villains you're fighting. They're Viltramites. It's either kill or be killed. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, big dog. And then Mark's like, bro, but I don't even kill for real. And then Nolan hems that little nigga up. He says, look here. It's either you kill or we all die. Choose one. But them two other Viltramites pick themselves up from out the sand and then Knife Hair Shorty just starts juggling Mark while he's in mid air. Put him down, it is not that serious, ain't nobody gonna take him from you big dog. She then starts piecing his ass up with her knife. But his ass starts looking over and he sees the dead flag sins and his ass starts to lock in. He dodges the knife strike and cracks her in the jaw with his mean uppercut. Then big go Mark Grayson starts piecing Shorty's ass up. I'm talking about bro said no damage run from here on now. Hitting her ass with the nastiest of combos till her ass dropped down to both knees. She then tried to sneak my boy with her knife but Mark dodged out the way, grabbed her braid and chunked her ass out of here. Home run! But her ass gets up and we just get a violent slideshow. I'm talking about they fighting for the love of the game right now, man. They just boxing until Omni Man quite literally just splits this dude's head open. Why are you still alive, bro? Just give up. Just go ahead, pass away. You're not winning this fight, big dog. And Mark had knife Bray Shorty in perfect killing position. But like Mark said, he is no killer. So his ass hesitated and he got stabbed in the sternum for it. But we pan over to Nolan and he's just pressing old dude with the cracked open skull. I'm just saying, Nolan, I know I told bro to die, but I think he might be done for real. But Mark calls out for his pops and Nolan pulls up, saving his life. He knocks Knife Hair Shorty out the way and he grabbed her braid mid-flight, slung her Strong ass over body. here and elbowed her jaw completely off. What in the Mortal Kombat fatality is going on? For real, just had Shorty biting down on his elbow, whole jawline is completely gone. Nolan goes to check on Mark so they can get out of there and then out of nowhere, Steve Harvey's black ass was still alive and he cracked Nolan's spine open. <laughs> Knocking little bro out and then he calls up the rest of the Viltramites like, hey, I done did the job. And to find Mark, I'm finding a way to take myself out the game, bro. Cause ain't no way. Cause this life is not for me. I saw you get your tummy split open and then you get thumbtacked to a wall with a spike. No way your ass wanted that badly. You're holding your intestines right now. Go lay down. I promise you, big dog, it's not that deep. But then the Viltramite ship pulls up. They take Nolan, getting ready to execute him, and then General Krieg is like, Mark, you know, you're Nolan's son, 
And the fact that you survived today means that you are capable enough to handle Nolan's job. So I want you to go take over Earth. And I'm letting you know if you don't do it, if you can't even kill a few humans to convince them to join us, then we're gonna pull up and kill everybody. You got the choice. And then they dip up out of there. But before Mark could go back to Earth, he starts helping the Flaxons rebuild. It's been a couple months and then Andrus is like, yo, I'm like 87 right now. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna die. Your ship is ready. You've done enough. I thank you for everything that you've done. Take your brother. Get the hell out of here, big dog. I love you. So Mark comes back home with his baby brother. He brings it to his mom. And his mom is hesitant at first because, yeah, that's your husband's secret love child with a bug woman. But, hey, it's your son's brother. So she decides to take care of him while Mark still tries to go to college. But, you know, he was gone for two months. That semester is done. He's done, actually. You might as well put the books down because that's not going to help you, big dog. Oh, yeah. And before Nolan got taken away, he told Mark to go read, read my his books. books. Mark. But we fast forward a little bit. Mark and the Guardians of the Globe beat up a bunch of starfish and amber's not really feeling the whole relationship she understands the marks of superhero but she's like you know what i get it but i still you know i said i still want to spend some time with you so mark clears his calendar make sure that it's just him and amber day they're traveling having a date across the world and then they're eating and then Anissa pulls up grips amber up by the back of her neck and is like do not remember what we said to you at all you got five minutes bro come meet me back up in the sky or i'm snapping her neck so man suits up and he meets anissa in the sky and they start yapping and this is like yo look i know you might be a little adamant about joining the viltramite empire but look listen look we can't end world hunger get rid of all your evil politicians we can legitimately make earth better but mark's like yeah but you gonna make everybody your slaves. And this is like, hey, bro, don't even, hey, that's like a very minuscule thing we're gonna do. So don't even trip about that for real, for real. Just know, Viltrum trying to make things better for Earth. We just kinda want to enslave all of you, but that's not important for real. But before anything can really happen, Mark gets a call in his earpiece from Cecil telling bro, hey, there's a Godzilla reject villain that's messing up this cruise ship. I'm gonna need you to go handle that. So Mark pulls up and he tries to help this cruise ship and he's beating up this kaiju a little bit. But then Mark, well, he starts marking it up. The kaiju starts breaking the ship in half and then this is like, all right, little bro, I got this. And quite literally flies through big bro's head like a bullet booming this kaiju as she helps Mark pick up this ship and put it to shore. But while Mark's panting on the ground, this is like, hey, just like how I saved everybody's life here, that's pretty much what Viltramite gonna do. And Mark's like, nah, hold on a minute. I thought I told your ass no. But in this is ass and them's fighting words and uppercutted the mess out of Mark. And one punch in, Mark's suit is already messed up. You might as well be fighting in the buff with how easy your suit be getting ripped up, big dog. But golly, Anissa damn near sent Mark into space with this uppercut. Talking about launched his goofy ass into the clouds. Oh, no, nah, I opt out of this fight. You know what? You can have whatever it is you want on Earth because I'm done fighting you. But Mark stops flying in the air before he can even know where he is. And this is behind his ass. She just clobbers him with this mean ass axe handle. Sent his ass into the ocean. But Mark flew out of the sea and got this nasty ass sneak off on Anissa. Hit her with this mean ass hook. Then Anissa sent his ass to Airball City because Bro could not hit a single hit after that <laughs> initial one. She then caught Mark's punch, spun his ass around, and then hit the mess out of dude. And oh nah, Bro started skipping across the ocean like a rock. The day my human body starts getting used as an inanimate object is the day I opt out as being a human, Bro. You can take me now, God. But Mark crashes into the boat, and then Anissa's like, hey. Just go ahead and give me Earth. And Cecil's like, hey, just listen to her. Mark may be getting his ass beat, but one thing I can give Mark, nigga ain't no bitch. He said, if you want Earth, you's just gonna have to kill me, big dog. So he pulls up on Anissa, tries to hit her, but she hits him with the nastiest sidestep of all time. Didn't even pay bro no mind, just sidestep out the way. She then dodged the left hook and paused. Look at the form of Anissa, guys. She is finna violate mans like crazy. But her ass hits Mark with the nastiest sternum check of all time. Talking about this man's body cleared the ship. Oh, nah. She then yoked his ass up, flew in the air, started giving him the business, flew back down, and then she drop kicked his ass into the ground. 
nasty ass taking loop she just put my boy in this is crazy but her ass was not finished Anissa started choking bro out with her foot stepping on his larynx giving him the ultimatum of die or give me earth and live but Mark's still standing on bit he's like nah you might to snap my neck I ain't giving you squat her ass let's go she's like hey I might have failed but the next Viltramite they send won't be as kind and then she dips after this, he goes back to his dorm and we're like, hey, look, Mark, I love you, but I can't keep doing this. We're going to have to break up. They break up as friends. Mark starts contemplating his life. He gets a call from his mom, and it turns out Angstrom Levy broke into Big Bro's home and is holding Debbie hostage. Big Bro cannot catch a single break. And that boy Mark drops everything he's doing, suits up, and goes back home to see Angstrom playing with Debbie and Oliver. But this man Angstrom starts tweaking. He throws Debbie and Oliver on the ground and Mark flies at him top speed. But before he could do anything, this man Angstrom huh? sends Mark through another dimension. And then this first dimension he gets sent through got talking dinosaurs. And Mark is confused. He's like, but what? I'm talking dinosaurs? What the hell? But he starts flying back up and he gets sent back home through another portal. And Angstrom just holding to Oliver talking about, damn, this is the first multiverse I've ever seen your little brother. And then his ass is like, damn. But and any he tosses his ass like a football. And Debbie forgot to tell Mark that she used to play football in high school and caught the mess out of bro. And we all know that pissed the hell out of Mark. So his ass flew top speed again at Angstrom just to get sent through another dimension. Oh, nah. But Mark gets sent through scuffed Spider-Man's dimension. And he's fighting scuffed Doc Ock. And I know Disney was with the quick draw with that season. This is just going to have everybody in that company gone by Tuesday. What's even crazier is they got the voice actor from the spectacular Spider-Man Spider-Man series to play scuffed Spider-Man. This is crazy. But Mark gets out the scuffed Spider-Man dimension. And Angstrom threatens to drop Debbie and Oliver down a dimension that's already 20 stories high. And Mark is just trying to talk it out. And they're like, hey, look, look, man. Look, bro, I'm sorry. What I did, I apologize bro just you know i said leave my family alone we could talk this out like gentlemen but angstrom said oh hell no forget all that sent his ass to another dimension as his ass started having flashbacks to all the angstroms that got merged into one to all the dimensions where mark was an evil piece of garbage but angstrom got pressed he's like oh hell no i want to run the fade with mark right now he opens a portal back home and mark comes out that hole hits him with a fortnite sniper knocking his dumb ass on the ground but mark hems up angstrom he's like listen here you gonna leave me and my family alone Alone, but he already got a portal preloaded on Debbie and Oliver, so he puts them down. Like, hey, if you want to kill me, kill me, bro. Take your best shot. I won't even fight back. And then Angstrom hit Mark with the nastiest fake out of all time. Bro pulled out a knife, he threw it at Debbie and Oliver just so Mark could go catch it and fly through another portal. And bro got sent to the Walking Dead universe, another Robert Kirkman series. And then we go back to Angstrom. He just starts planning on where he's gonna leave Mark. And Debbie had enough of his BS. She busts his ass upside the head with this vase. And then Angstrom hits Debbie with this mean ass back. As she picks up a shard of glass and slashes bro right across the chest. And then she starts hitting the jets. But Angstrom puts a portal by the door, sending Mark back in, almost hitting his mom. Oh nah, this a evil nigga. He got to go. But Mark moved out of the way, but Angstrom starts spamming portals inside the house, and Mark is barely dodging out of the way of them until he can't no more, and he goes into another portal. But then Angstrom starts talking mess to Debbie. He's like, you know, in a lot of these universes, you join Mark and Nolan and taking over the world. Debbie's like, well, it just seemed to me like you're mad that you found the only multiverse where Mark's a good guy and you're a villain. So he hits her ass with a choke slam. Angstrom starts slowly walking up to Debbie, and then Debbie busts bro upside the head with this duck statue. So he breaks her arm. We then go back to Mark and see Mark just go through all these different dimensions, getting beat up and tore up and mentally drained. Like he is not having a good day right now. From Anissa to Angstrom, this gotta be top two worst days anybody alive ever could possibly have. So another portal opens up, but Mark does not go through that hole yet. So Angstrom sticks his head in. Peeking through the portal, looking for Mark, he turns his head to see five knuckles right. being plastered into his jawline. But now that Mark's back home, he looks over to the left and he sees Debbie with one and a half arms. And he starts grinding Angstrom's back meat across the concrete. But Angstrom gets Mark's hands off of him. He says, you remember those doctors I told you about? They made me stronger too. And he punches the mess out of Mark. 
And then Angstrom just starts violating. He's beating Mark throughout the multiverse. He's like, why do you even think I sent you to those dimensions to specifically wear you out? So now it's just easy pickings for Angstrom pummeling Mark through these portals. As Mark just lays there in the dirt, and Angstrom starts choking his ass out. But Mark punches his ass out. But Angstrom gets up. He's like, nah, nah, nah. We not finished until you and your family is completely done so. Mark hits his ass with a stop messing with my family, but I gotta let y'all hear the anger in man's voice. Me saying it ain't doing it justice. Stop threatening my family! But bro supercharges at Angstrom. He tries to make a portal, but Mark said nah, forget all that, and punches ass like crazy. Now he's doing 40,000 flips in the air. Mark then drops this nigga Angstrom down to the ground with this nasty ass accent. He's like, you don't even know how much I've been holding back. As bro then full mounds Angstrom and just starts ground and pounding his ass. He is not letting him get a single chance. He is beating the melanin off that man. This is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to consider this a hate crime. He is violating. But he finishes Angstrom off with an axe handle right to the patella. But then it starts slowly seeping into his head that he killed somebody for the first time. And Mark's like, damn, is Angstrom really one? Because not only does he have to sit with this feeling of being a murderer, he's stuck in this dimension because he just boomed Angstrom. Until future versions of the Guardians of the Globe pull up, they help Mark get out of there and all is well with the universe. But uh, yeah, man, it's the end of the video. If you think Mark had a rough in season two, you niggas is not ready for season three. Them boys are in trouble. But the moral of the story is, no matter how many times you get knocked down, you can always get back up. Because at the end of the day, you truly are.